Hi everyone, Helen Blunden here. Hope you're happy, healthy and well. It is time for a new book review today. Today it's a non-fiction book. It's a non-fiction book about fiction. It's by James Wood and it is called How Fiction Works. This is a book I bought at a secondhand bookstore locally. I saw it there, it was only $3 and I thought I have to buy this because what I really wanted to do was to find a book that I can read that would allow me and teach me how to read a book. So a book about books and a book in particular about reading and reading in such a way that I'm really getting the gist of what I'm reading and thinking about things more critically. The reason is that I have not studied in this area. I'm a scientist by background. I am someone who loves to read but when I read a book I know what I like and what I don't like. When I read a book I want to be moved by the characters, their thinking, their actions and behaviours so then I could put myself in their shoes and really think you know what would I have done in that situation. If a book makes me think long and hard afterwards or if a book makes me feel compelled to pick it up every single day or night to read then I know it's a good thing but I don't know why it's a good thing. Uh, I don't know how to read a book if that makes sense. So this book is something that will help you when you do read a book actually start to think how to analyse it as to why it is a good piece of fiction. James Wood I read is a literary critic. He was a professor of practice of literary criticism at Harvard. He's published his own books but a lot of his work are all related to essays in The New Yorker and also he has written his his own works. It was published by Vintage in 2009. I think this book is actually quite well known. I had rabbited on about it to some people and people knew of James Wood. I didn't and so this was of interest to me. But I have to warn you I, it took me four months to read this book. I really took it in little bit, bits at a time. For me, it was not a book that I could read from start to finish. I might be, I get it, I guess I'm thick as two bricks actually. Sometimes I feel I'm not, I guess, academically up there with, with, with books because simply because, yeah, I come from a science background, this is not my expertise. I'm kind of fluffing my way through things. I know what I like, I know what I don't like, but I don't know why. I don't know the why, and this explains the why. So this goes into the fundamentals, the fundamentals of writing. In actual fact, it makes me realize that this book is not only for readers, it is also for writers, especially writers who want to write realistically, who want to write literary novels realistically. And I know that there are different people out there who like different things, the ones who err on the side of more generalist populist novels or science fiction and fantasy, which is not stuff I read versus those who are more literary realists which is the stuff that I prefer so hence you probably find this book relevant for you. Now James Wood like I said talks about the fundamentals of writing and the fundamentals of writing are all about detail, character, sympathy, complexity, language, dialogue, truth, convention, realism and narrative. Once again Flaubert keeps coming up. Flaubert keeps coming up every time I read something, which I have never read Flaubert. So the more he comes up, the more I'm realizing I've got to read Flaubert. So this is not a how-to book. This is a book that really captures all the fundamentals of good writing and what these are, as I mentioned as the basics. They are, if a book has these, then this is what makes them a good book. This is what makes good fiction. Throughout the book, he gives examples. So he talks about, say, the theme of dialogue and he'll give examples from literary fiction. But one of the best things I found in this book is that it has an excellent bibliography. So if you're someone who wants to get started into literary fiction and you think, I don't know where to start, I would say, check out his bibliography because the reading list is all there. If I sat down and read each and every one of these books, in fact, I could tick tick them off, I'd, be, I'd say that I'd be pretty well read, which I'm not, but I'm glad I have read some of these books. <sighs> All right, now a lot of these things I, I start to think to myself that it gets lost. Modern day times, 
everyone is screaming out for the tips, the hints, the hacks, the strategies, the quick wins and so forth. These, I would say, are the fundamentals of writing. And if we understand the fundamentals of writing, we would become better readers. We would scrutinize what we're reading a lot better and we could understand the language that is being written on those pages and we can understand its cadence, we can understand its meaning, we can understand the rhythm, we can understand why it's evoking some kind of emotion or some kind of response in us. This really is a book that helps you learn what is good literature, what is good fiction. I'm not gonna say I love the book, I didn't say I love the book. It's not, love is a very strong word. It's because the way it is written sometimes, it's quite difficult. You can only, for me, I as I picked up this book, I would read not even a chapter. I would read some parts of a chapter. Then I would put it down. I would sit and think about it. And then I would come back to it the next day or over the next few days. So I read this over a period of four months. At the same time, I'm currently reading some other books about writing, which you may see published recently on my channel. And all this is helping me kind of get, educate myself in understanding what I'm reading and why I'm reading it. And I, I kind of, and I have said, I've just said before that this is not my area of expertise. I review books simply from the fact of reading them through my experiences and what emotional reactions I get from them and then also what lessons I glean from them. So I, I know I have a long way to go with regards to viewing and critiquing pieces with a critical eye and making connections and alignments to other, other papers or other authors or other works, which is something that I would love to get to that point. I'm not someone to go back to university and do this simply because I don't want to go back to university. I have said before that university is like a death of a thousand cuts to me. I would much rather do this myself and really self-educate and also read into and learn from people who this is their job. They are the masters of their, their domain or their fields in that area. So I follow YouTubers who do literary analysis or read books by such authors so that I can then teach myself and educate myself on that. So I don't have to go back to university to do that formally. Over to you. Have you read this book? Let me know what you think and um, see you at the next review. Bye for now.